Grand Central is a great space to visit. It's free. We have student housing upstairs. So if you're an MFA student, you can live here. You can rent an apartment. And when you rent an apartment, you get a free studio space. You can open your studio space during art walks and have access to the anywhere from 1,500 to 2,500 individuals that come through here through your first Saturday. So it's kind of a nice experience. And then we also have visiting artists in residence. So there's people visiting from all over the world. It's this nice kind of generative, collaborative community where things can happen. We're one of the anchor institutions for the Santa Ana First Saturday Art Walk. Live music, exhibitions, performances, free food at certain venues, uh, just a lot of activities going on from dance to uh, celebratory events. This last Saturday, we opened a new exhibition uh, with an opening reception with Julie Orser, who's a Cal State Fullerton photo faculty member. We had Sarah Garcia's amazing exhibition, uh, Santa Ana Fairy Tales, which looked at issues of gentrification, immigration, uh, community social justice issues taking place in Santa Ana. Uh, she's a writer, so she recontextualized those true stories into fairy tales. For that event, we had a live performance that included uh, members of the community, uh, members of the Los Angeles music scene, as well as a collaboration with the Pacific Symphony. Yeah, so we have a little museum store uh, at Grand Central, and so people can purchase things inside our museum sh gift shop, but also on the outside plaza, we have a whole bunch of vendors that have set up uh, anything from jewelry to fine art uh, to crafts, t-shirts, LPs, you know, vinyl records, a little bit of everything. The goal of the Art Walk is to, for Grand Central, uh, to be socially engaged with our local community, to bring up issues through the exhibitions and have those conversations in a public venue with civil discourse. A free venue so people can come in, but to feel welcome and to feel that their voice can matter in conversation.